Hey, what's up, Brick Squad? Today we are going to be taking a quick look at the LEGO Star Wars Darth Vader bus. This is going to be a should you buy video. Basically, if you guys are new to this series here, should you buy videos will give you as much information as possible in a little amount of time, ultimately helping you make the informed decision on whether or not you should buy this set. Today we have LEGO Star Wars Darth Vader bus set number 75227, ages 14 and up. Now this was notably a Star Wars celebration and Target exclusive. Now honestly, there was a lot of backlash about this set and how it was released, especially with Target. Basically, this set is no longer in production from Lego, the only way you're going to be able to get it is either through Bricklink or eBay or Craigslist or any of the third party sellers. If you wanted to get this, you either had to be at Star Wars Celebration or you had to be pretty much constantly checking the Target website. In fact, Target actually did not release these on the same date or time when they said they would, so there was a huge, huge backlash, but anyways, there were only a couple of thousand made of this Darth Vader bus, so it is definitely an exclusive set in that regard. It's actually retailing for a decent amount. Now, the set comes with 327 pieces and here you you guys can see the front of the box here we have the 20 years of lego star wars logo um staying very consistent with the rest of the 20th anniversary sets of course we have the vader bus on the front here of course if we switch it over to the back here we have another star wars celebration logo up on the top right the box art actually didn't vary so whether you got this at star wars celebration or target all the stuff's going to be exactly the same um, so for instance obviously on the side here we do have the target and the star wars celebration logo so there was no noticeable difference between the star wars celebration version and the target version they're both exactly the same carbon copies of one another now really the only thing Thing worth mentioning if you guys aren't going to pick up the set is going to be the dimensions here on the side of the box it is a pretty small build obviously it's supposed to be a miniature bust of darth vader but here is the box obviously all taped up and sealed up it's got a really nice design for the box and i was actually fortunate enough to get another one so i do have one sealed for my collection which is great but let's go ahead and talk about the actual vader bust itself now i apologize if this seems a little dark black is a pretty tough color to actually capture on my camera but here is the vader bust itself i believe it stands at around five and a half inches tall which honestly isn't too terrible of a height it's pretty light as you guys can see and i'll lower the camera so we can get a little bit of a better view at the bust here so you can see packed in this vader bus is actually a really decent amount of detail i really like the front how lego um, captured the design of the front of vader's chest plate using the one by two by three height slopes including light bluish gray and then obviously the two by two slopes there in the black i think lego did a really good job capturing the front breastplate of vader which is definitely cool of course we have a little chain in the middle here which does resemble his actual movie accurate details and the whole thing obviously fits like my hand it's a pretty small build I'm not gonna lie but it does have a lot of nice detail in terms of the helmet nothing is like removable it does not come off easily however the side panels are really easily connected they are just pretty much hinge bricks and stuff like that that do just connect really easily to the sides um, so all three sides both sides left and right and then the back here are completely uh, just, just foldable, I guess, if that makes sense. Vader bus build actually probably only takes about 20, 25 minutes. There are no numbered bags for it. So it's literally just 327 pieces of unsorted bags, which is probably the only negative thing I have to say about the set. And now just for sake of scale, I will put a minifigure down here just to give you guys a little bit of a better idea as to how... I guess tall or how short, however you kind of want to view this height. Now the set did retail for $39.99 and odds are you probably will have to pay at least $60 now to get it since especially it is now no longer in cycle from Lego. So the build itself isn't necessarily intricate in any way. I think it does really look good though. I'm trying to get the light to bounce off the front of the Vader's helmet so you can see all the details. Obviously the breathing apparatus where his nose would be. We have some 1x2 uh, black profile bricks to add some more detail. Of course we have the area where his eyes would be in the visor. Of course like I said the breathing apparatus and obviously you can imagine there would be a whole oxygen sort of control panel on his chest obviously helping him breathe which is definitely accurate but but for a shoulder up model i think lego did a really really good job capturing the vader i think it looks awesome there's honestly not too much to say about this set i think the majority of the set consists of mostly black slopes obviously we have the light bluish gray ones on the bottom but obviously to capture the um, sort of circular shapes of the helmet whether that be the pads on the sides the the flaps on the back or the top or even the sides anywhere on this helmet and the vader bus is definitely going to be consisting of those black slopes i think it does look great though i think this is definitely the best way for lego to have gone about making a bus and obviously there's a lot of potential for it more obviously people have been debating on whether or not they should make a boba fett bus or a general grievous one or something like that and while i gotta be completely honest i'm not too happy with how lego actually did the release of this item especially since target did not release it on the day it was supposed to i am however a fan of them doing these sort of exclusive bus whether that be from star 
Star Wars Celebration or Target. Um, so I do hope that LEGO actually does return to this idea. I think it's a really awesome, great marketing idea. And I think it does look good. It's a nice display piece. Obviously, I think the face looks really accurate, which is always a great thing when it comes to Star Wars sets. So in the end, do I think you guys should buy this Vader bust if you're someone who is willing to spend at least 60 or at the very least $50 um, to buy this 300 some odd piece set? I would say go for it. However, for me, if I were to go back and have this review, I would definitely go ahead and purchase this during my time at Star Wars Celebration or on Target.com. So guys, that has been a should you buy of the Darth Vader bust. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the set. Also, let me know how you guys think Lego and Target handled the release of this exclusive. I know there was a lot of backlash, but overall, this is a really, really cool display piece. I do hope Lego does make more busts in the future, but until then, guys, I was going to wrap up this video. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be live tomorrow, Friday from 2 to 5, building an axis live on my channel, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see y'all later. Take it easy, fam. Peace.